Tonsillitis is the inflammation of the tonsils, two oval-shaped pads of tissue at the back of the throat. Most cases of tonsillitis are caused by infection with a common virus, but bacterial infections also make us tonsillitis. Tonsil sac does filters, trapping germs that could otherwise enter your airways and cause infection. They are responsible in making antibodies to fight infection. The three types of tonsillitis are Acute tonsillitis. These symptoms usually last three or four days but can last up to two weeks. Recurrent tonsillitis. This is when you get tonsillitis several times in a year. Chronic tonsillitis. This is when you have a long-term tonsil infection. Common signs and symptoms of tonsillitis include Red, swollen tonsils, white or yellow coating or patches on the tonsils. Sore throat. Difficult or painful swallowing. Fever. Enlarged, tender glands or lymph nodes in the neck. And neck pain or stiff neck. Tonsillitis is most often caused by common viruses, but bacterial infections also can be the cause. The most common bacterium causing tonsillitis is Streptococcus pyogenes or group of Streptococcus, the bacterium that causes strep throat. Inflammation or swelling of the tonsils from frequent or ongoing tonsillitis can cause complications such as disrupted breathing during sleep or obstructive sleep apnea. Infection that spreads deep into surrounding tissue or tonsillar cellulitis, and collection of pus behind a tonsil or paratonsillar abscess. If tonsillitis caused by group a streptococcus isn't treated or if antibiotic treatment is incomplete, your child has an increased risk of rare disorders such as rheumatic fever. It is a serious inflammatory condition that can affect the heart, joints, nervous system, and skin. Complications of scarlet fever, a streptococcal infection characterized by a prominent rash. Post-streptococcal reactive arthritis, a condition that causes inflammation of the joints. The best prevention is to practice good hygiene. Hand washing, washes or her hands thoroughly and frequently, especially after using the toilet and before eating. Avoid sharing food, drinking glasses, water bottles or utensils. Replace toothbrush after being diagnosed with tonsillitis. If a virus is the expected cause of tonsillitis, these strategies are the only treatment. Encourage rest. Encourage your child to get plenty of sleep. Provide adequate fluids. Give your child plenty of water to keep his or her throat moist and prevent dehydration. Provide comforting foods and beverage. Warm liquids broth. Caffeine-free tea or warm water with honey and cold treats like ice pops can soothe a sore throat. Prepare a saltwater gargle. If your child can gargle, a saltwater gargle of a half teaspoon of table salt to 8 ounces of warm water can help soothe a sore throat. Humidify the air. Use a cool air humidifier to eliminate dry air that may further irritate a sore throat, or sit with your child for several minutes in a steamy bathroom. Give lozenges. Children older than age 4 can suck on lozenges to relieve a sore throat. Avoid irritants. Keep your home free from cigarette smoke and cleaning products that can irritate the throat. Treat pain and fever. Talk to your doctor about using ibuprofen or acetaminophen to minimize throat pain and control a fever. If tonsillitis is caused by a bacterial infection, your doctor will prescribe a course of antibiotics. Penicillin taken by mouth for 10 days is the most common antibiotic treatment prescribed for tonsillitis caused by group a streptococcus. Surgery to remove tonsils or tonsillectomy may be used to treat frequently recurring tonsillitis, chronic tonsillitis, or bacterial tonsillitis that doesn't respond to antibiotic treatment. A tonsillectomy may also be performed if tonsillitis results in difficult-to-manage complications, such as obstructive sleep apnea, breathing and swallowing difficulty, and an abscess that doesn't improve with antibiotic treatment. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Goodbye.